section 7.2 physical science lesson video and as always if you like all my videos in one spot then just subscribe to my channel. So today we're going to talk about types of reactions. So if you watched the previous video we talked about the reactants versus the products and how to balance but now we're going to talk about types. So there are some general types of reactions. There are more than these but these are the five that we'll talk about and that is synthesis which some books will call combination decomposition, single replacement, double replacement, and combustion. And again, some books they'll replace replacement with displacement. So just know replacement and displacement can be used interchangeably. And then like I said, some books will call synthesis com uh, combination instead. Okay, so these are the five types we're going to talk about. And so we got to know, well, how do I know what type a reaction is? So a synthesis reaction is a reaction in which two or more substances react to form a single substance. So the best way to recognize synthesis is you look for one product. And so I like to say it's like a marriage. We have two separate A and B. They come together and make one. Now, of course, it could be more. It could be two or more substances. But for simplicity, I just think of it as marriage, two coming together to make one. So here we have Na and Cl coming together to make NaCl. Here we have H2 and O2 coming together to make H2O. Down here I have two more examples. We have calcium and oxygen coming together to make calcium oxide. Here we have magnesium nitrogen coming together to make magnesium nitrite. So the key thing to look for is one product. They all have one product. So if synthesis is marriage, decomposition is the opposite. Decomposition will be divorce. So a decomposition reaction is a reaction in which a compound breaks down into two or more simpler substances. So again, it could break up into more than two, but for simplicity, we just focus on two. So A and B were together as one reactant, and they break up into two or more products. So the way to recognize decomposition is you look for one reactant. So again, I have lots of different examples. We have one reactant, and it splits up into Hg and O2. We have one reactant, and it splits up into CaO and CO2. Um, here, another example, we have water and it splits up into hydrogen and oxygen. So what I want you to notice is all the examples have one reactant. So if you're looking for synthesis, one product. If you're looking for decomposition, one reactant. So next is single replacement. A single replacement reaction is a reaction in which one element takes the place of another element in a compound. So what I always like to say is single replacement means there's something single on both sides. Okay, so see how over here A is by itself and over here B is by itself but here these two are paired up. That's how you recognize single replacement. So here we have copper by itself, and on this side we have silver by itself, but my other two are paired up. Here I have potassium by itself. Here I have hydrogen by itself, but these two are paired up, okay? Um, so for example, in a relationship example, here's a guy, this guy and this girl are together, this guy walks by, and then the girl ends up with that guy. And then this guy's name's apparently Frank, and so afterwards it says poor Frank. And so see, somebody is alone on both sides. So you'll hear me say it all the time in class. It's single replacement if something single on both sides. The reason I specify that so much is a lot of you get single and double mixed up. So double replacement or double displacement reactions, um, it's one in which two different compounds exchange positive ions and form two new compounds. So in this example, everybody's paired up. But what happened was we just swapped the A and the C. Because remember, the positive ones are always listed first. Okay, so we just took A and C and swapped them. Um, so here's two real examples. So see, PB and NO3 are together. K and I are together. PB and K swap. So now PB is with I and K is with NO3. So the easiest way to recognize double displacement is everybody is paired up. There's nobody single on any side. All right, here's another example in our relationship example. Remember, we're just swapping. So everybody is still paired up. Nobody is left out. And then the last one is combustion. A combustion reaction is one in which a substance reacts rapidly with oxygen, often producing heat and light. Now, combustion reactions don't have to follow this format. It's anything burning in the presence of oxygen. But the reason I like to show you this format is if it's specifically a hydrocarbon, like what does hydrocarbon make you think of? Well, hopefully hydrogen and carbon. A hydrocarbon contains hydrogen and carbon. If a hydrocarbon, and so these subscripts could be anything. That's why I put an X and a Y. It could be CH4, C6H6, C2H6, whatever. 
It could be anything. If it burns in oxygen, which is O2, it is going to make carbon dioxide and water. Okay, so if you see a reaction set up like this, that is combustion. Some combustion reactions are also synthesis reactions, if we're not talking about the hydrocarbon. All right, so here we have our hydrocarbon plus oxygen, making CO2 and H2O. Here we have a hydrocarbon that also includes oxygen. This is glucose right here. Hopefully you remember that from biology. And then it is going to react with oxygen, and it's also going to make carbon dioxide and water. So if you have a hydrocarbon burning in oxygen, going through combustion, it's always going to make CO2 and H2O, as long as it's complete combustion. Everybody likes combustion reactions, because that's where your fire comes from. So what are the five general types of reactions? Well, we have synthesis, decomposition, single replacement, double displacement, and combustion. Synthesis, decomposition, single replacement, double displacement, and combustion. Number two, the synthesis of water is described by the on reaction. We have hydrogen plus oxygen making water. It says, how is the decomposition of water related to this reaction? Well, remember, synthesis is a marriage. Decomposition is a divorce. So in other words, how is it related? It's the opposite of this reaction, or the backwards form of this reaction. It would be starting with water and breaking it into hydrogen and oxygen. So you can say it's the reverse of that reaction. So a synthesis and decomposition of the same substances would be reverses of each other. So number three, explain the difference between a single replacement and a double replacement reaction. Well, remember, in single replacement, there is something that's single on both sides. In double displacement, everything is paired up. Okay, so in single replacement, there's something single on both sides. In double uh, displacement, everything is paired up. So number four, when propane, which is C3H8, that's a hydrocarbon, undergoes combustion, what products are formed? Remember, I told you if a hydrocarbon does, goes through combustion, it's going to make CO2 and H2O. So your products would be CO2 and H2O. And then number five, identify the following reactions. Well, in part A, I can see that everything is paired up. So what type is that? Double displacement. Okay, since everybody is paired up, this is double displacement. All right, in part B, I see, okay, well, here's a hydrocarbon, and we're mixing it with oxygen, hmm, and making carbon dioxide and water. That sounds like combustion. Combustion. All right, part C. We got some things paired up, the CaCl2 and HCl, but I have something single on both sides. So single on both sides is single replacement. All right, and then the last one, I have two things separate coming together as one. Two coming together as one, like a marriage. So that one would be synthesis. That one would be synthesis. All right, so hopefully now you know a little bit more about the five types of reactions. Synthesis, decomposition, single replacement, double displacement, and...